Hi, I'm Nancy Morgan, co-founder of the Wound Care Education Institute, and today I'm here with Vicki Fishnack. She's a nurse practitioner at the Southwest Regional Wound Care Center in Lubbock, Texas. Hi, Vicki. Hi, Nancy. I am hearing a lot of buzz about this product called Inluxtra. Can you tell me a little bit about it? We've been using this product at the Southwest Regional Wound Care Center for a little over a year. It's been the most effective dressing that we've utilized, and we've actually switched our clinic to solely using this particular dressing. S solely using? Mm -hmm. uh, well, what is it? I mean, this, what's it look like? This is in Luxtra. It is a self adaptive humor fiber dressing. What I love about this dressing is the fact that I can prescribe one order for any wound, anywhere, use it from the beginning and the presentation of the wound, throughout all the healing stages without having to add or change anything to the wound care orders. Wait a second, Vicki. Are you saying like from start to finish? From beginning. On any wound? On any wound. That's really hard to believe. How does it work? You know, the thing about this dressing is it has very absorptive qualities. So if you'll feel it, it, it goes on very nice. Patients love it. It's comfortable. It doesn't over dry. It doesn't let it get overly macerated as well. The thing about this particular backing is you'll be able to teach easily your patients, your nurses. I like to let everybody know this is the dressing we're using. You're going to see the wound drainage through the backing of this film. Mm -hmm. As the wound drainage gets closer to the edge, that just kind of signals you it's time for a change. The nice thing about it is it allows you to either change it early uh -huh. or leave it on longer. How long can I keep this in place? Well, on the early and first presentation of a wound, what I like to do is follow that patient like I would normally would have to with any static dressing. You've got to have that changed out maybe one or two times during the week. The following week, what you'll be able to do, and the patient will notice it themselves, they'll be able to see that they can extend the use of that dressing just by watching the strike through pattern. If you educate properly, the nurses are well aware, even in LTAC settings or hospital settings, they will do their nurse assessments on the dressings and say, you know what, it's still holding the wound drainage, we're gonna leave it on a couple more days perfect for that patient. So what you're saying to me mm -hmm. is you place this in the mm -hmm. wound and so it doesn't matter what caregiver, if it's the patient, if it's the patient's wife or staff members, they can actually look on the outside of the wound mm -hmm. depending on where the demarcation line mm -hmm. is. It can kind of signal them to you know, if they have to change it or if they can, you know, leave it in place for a few more days. That's amazing because not many dressings that we have in the industry can stay in place for up to 10 days. That's correct. This is a nice thing about this particular dressing. The longer you use this dressing, the more days you'll be able to step out your patient with this particular dressing. So by the third and fourth dressing change is when I see that the wound has flattened out, the edges are level with the wound bed, oh. you start to see that inflammatory cycle respond. When you have a wound, you want to allow for a proper reservoir of dressing around the wound. Also, though, important factor, the drainage won't come through the dressing. So it won't? No. Through the backing of this film, it will not get their clothing stained oh. or marked. Well, that's important. Yes, it is. So this product can be for any wound. So you're saying venous, arterial, diabetic wound, Correct. pressure ulcers. Some have drainage, some do not. Some are dry, some have drainage. So how can one dressing meet the need? This of that is bed? a self-adaptic dressing. Self-adaptic? So I've never heard of that before. What it allows to do is it draws up the drainage, but also allows for fluid in dry areas. Oh. You're not gonna overdry the peri wound area or you will not allow your peri wound area to macerate. Oh. If this is sized appropriately, uh -huh. it's extremely effective. So what you're saying is it has the ability to sense. It if senses, the part correct. of the wound, say for instance, is moist, mm -hmm. it will absorb drainage. Mm -hmm. And the other side of the wound might be dry, let's say, and it'll donate moisture. Correct. So this same product in that wound. Yes. Can you tell me, you know, just give me a rough estimate on how much this dressing would cost. It's a mid-price range dressing. Okay, well. But yeah. when you get your patient stepped out, it's less than a dollar a day, Nancy. Dollar a day? Less than a dollar a day for this dressing. It's very wow. cost effective. I would like to add, it works 
wonders on complex wounds. But don't wait until the wound deteriorates to a complex wound. Use it as early as possible. Even on seemingly small or not complicated wounds, a skin tear, especially on elderly or resident patients or those with compromised immune systems, use it early and avoid having a complex wound that in the long run is gonna cost you more time, more effort, and more patient discomfort. I'm going to test drive this. You tell me I can put it on any wound, any patient, any time. So where would I get more information in regards to getting some samples and, and trying this out on some of the patients that I have? Anywound.com. Anywound.com. There you'll find some educational videos, clinician oh. and patient interviews that have utilized this dressing. Well, thank you very much, Vicki, for spending your time with me today and teaching us about Inluxtra. Thank you, Nancy. It was a pleasure being here.